Well, actually, I, I could take a long time introducing the governor because I can assure you we could uh, pass out accolades forever. But I'm not going to even bother because we all know who he is. So here's the governor of the great state of Texas, George W. Bush. Thank you very much, Larry. Mr. Speaker, I'm... Uh, Looking forward to your hospitality tomorrow. Tomorrow I give what's called the Stay of the State in the beautiful chamber, ably led by my close friend and Texas's close friend, the Speaker of our House, Pete Laney. Pete's a, um, he's kind of like me. We both married above ourselves. <laughs> he's got a wonderful wife named Nelda. And I truly can say to you that we count the Laneys as very close personal friends. I can't tell you how good it is to be involved in a government where we check our partisan differences at the doors of our chambers and focus on what's right for the great state of Texas. I believe that uh, Texas is blessed with two things. One, limited government. I think it makes sense to limit the amount of time people come to Austin to 140 days out of every two years and then send people back home to live under the laws they passed. Limited government works. As a matter of fact, it ought, probably ought to be tried in Washington, D.C. Amen. <laughs> but limited government means you better have capable people representing you during that brief 140-day period. You're ably represented by Senator Galloway as well by Ron Lewis. Ron, uh, he remembers the first time he came into my office. I remember the first time he came into my office as well. I guess it's because of all that West Texas water I drank as a boy. I always liked a person who's down to earth. Somebody who is pretty plain spoken. And somebody who says, when he says he's going to do something with you, he won't change his mind. And that's how I view Ron. He's a good fella. And I appreciate you sending him here to Orange, from Orange County. Obviously, your gumbo has preceded yourself since there's a lot of people who don't live in Orange County here. I see a couple of members of the House. I see my friend Gary Morrow. I see members of the Senate. But most of all, when I look out there, I see people who are paying too darn much on their property taxes. <laughs> and I... And so I don't want to give away my speech, but I'll give you a hint. I think we were elected to face tough problems before they become absolutely acute. And so tomorrow I'm going to ask the Senate and the House to think long term for what's best for our state. And the thing I'm most troubled by is when I hear compelling stories from fellow citizens who worry about their property taxes driving them out of their homes. Property taxes have doubled over the last 10 years, yet values have declined. Property taxes are now on the rise because our economy is getting better. The Texas dream is for our elderly to live in a, in a home for the rest of their life, yet today many pay more in property taxes than they did on their initial mortgage. The Texas dream is for our middle class citizens who work every single day of their life to be able to afford their most precious possession, their home. The Texas dream is for young couples who are trying to buy a home to be able to do so. But I'm worried about that dream. And so tomorrow I'm going to lay out a fair, bold, progressive plan for Texas. And I can't wait for you to hear about it because I'm going to convince you're going to like it. One of the things we do in Texas that others don't do is we tend to focus on common philosophy, limited government trust local people to make the right decisions for their schools, their cities, and their counties. And to understand that all laws must say that everybody must be held accountable for their behavior. You see, I'm deeply worried about the culture of my generation, which has clearly said, if it feels good, do it, and blame somebody else if you have a problem. And the culture's failed, and we gotta do something about it. Every law we pass in Texas must say this, that it's you who's responsible. It's you who's responsible for your child. It's you who's responsible for the schools in your community. It's you who's responsible for your family, not some faraway government. So that's what the speech is going to be about tomorrow. 
It's a speech really about Texas and Texas's future. We're a great state and we can be greater. And all of us working together will see that greatness come to be. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to come by. God bless the great county of Orange and God bless Texas. Thank you very much, Governor. Thank you very much, Speaker Laney. Uh, he's been a few words we'll wait for later. Okay, Senator Galloway, I know we've got the Land Commissioner Gary Morrow is here. I saw him here. Uh, and we'll have others, so we'll break in a little bit and uh, uh, recognize the, the other guests. Thank you for what you do for Texas. Thank you, sir. Yeah, eat lots of gumbo. It'll make you take back things you didn't steal, they say. It's hot now. Okay, boy, get you singing yet? I'm just singing a little bit. Good. Uh, I want to shake the hand of the next president of the United States. Hey, there you go. There you go. <laughs> That's him. That's him. Uh -huh. Martin,